morning and welcome to Turning Point Devotion Wednesday morning. Well, as you know, we've been traveling through this devotion talking about relationships. And over the last 12 weeks, Karen and Andrew, along with others, have been running a marriage course. And you heard some testimonies from that last Sunday. And tomorrow, Andrew and Karen will be sharing in our morning devotion. So just remember, if you miss any of those devotions or Sunday services, they are all up on YouTube or Facebook. So make sure you get them and more than anything, share them out. Because I saw today the Filipino outreach was sharing them everywhere. And so they're covering all over the world. So make sure you tune in and get a part of all this. And don't forget to book in for the date night on Saturday night. It's going to be lots of fun. We're booked in and you can zoom in to have some time with us quickly at 7.30 as well. We'd love to pray for all of you and bless your marriages. And you know, as we continue to pursue relationships in our devotions, we pray that you have healthy and growing friendships and relationships at this time. It's so important. So just simply go to any of the Turning Point sites and they'll point you to a place where you can book in and get the Zoom link. We'll just be doing it by Zoom this particular time. And then, of course, straight afterwards, you'll have to go to the other site, which is the Marriage Week Australia, and book in and pay for that time for Ben Price. So enjoy the reading today. And have a great Wednesday. Bless you now. Morning, everybody. Andrew and Karen. The 16th of September. Scripture references 1 John 4, 18 and 19. And the topic is Love, love builds, builds relationships. relationships. So Andrew's going to read from verses 18 and 19. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. But listen, we love because he first loved us. Yeah, that's right. We can't possibly love anybody unless we have the love of Christ in us first. And so Andrew and I and some other, other couples in the church have just finished a 12-week um, program, two equals one marriage program. And in that, the very first lesson was about marriage is a covenant, not a contract. So if we're going through our marriage thinking that it's a contract, then we're basing our marriage in fear, not love. Yeah. We're thinking that any time something goes wrong, one of us does something wrong, they've broken the contract. We can just sever fear. that relationship. Mm -hmm. So we're working out of fear. And, you know, for such a long time, Andrew and I were like that. We've gone through our hard times. But, you know, with God's love, we've we've got a deeper marriage now you know and and when we know that our our marriage is built on a co covenant covenant with each other and a covenant with god then god is in the middle of that love is in the middle of that and there's no fear we're just human beings we make mistakes um but with love love covers a multitude of sins and with Amen. god's love we can heal and we can move forward so I just wanted to read a bit out of the, the devotion today. It says, love, it helps, focus on, helps us focus on the people in front of us instead of being absorbed by our own insecurities and fears. The minute we start thinking about the other people, fear disappears. Mm -hmm. It's the same with any relationship. We can't, we can let love help us focus on the other person and that will drive out the fear in that relationship. The moment we begin to understand how much God loves us, uh, we realize we don't have to prove ourselves anymore. We don't have to spend our life trying to impress other people because we're already secure in the knowledge that God loves us. Amen. Uh, that, that relates relate to almost all of us uh, my childhood was one of striving and, and trying to prove myself and always ending up in uh, insecurity and, and you know, being gripped I remember quite vividly being gripped by fear in certain certain ways the dark and just the fear of rejection and uh, the fear of 
been a disappointment and all of those areas that um, that uh, I remember quite clearly. But that, that all changed when I met Jesus. And I knew the love of Christ. I knew that I didn't have to um, prove myself anymore. I didn't have to strive. Um, I didn't need to feel in, insecurities. I didn't need to, 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 to fear. But it was a... a you know, it was just such a relief. He had a plan and purpose for you. That's right. And that plan and, and purpose, as uh, um, John clearly states, that uh, we're to love others and, and consider others better than ourselves and, and break those barriers in regards to building healthy, loving relationships. So we just wanted to end off today with some questions for you to ponder through the day. What relationships are you building at the moment and can you inject a bit more love into them? And how mm. does perfect love cast out fear? Mm. And how how does love build relationships? Yes, and you, you may, may be struggling in relationships today, but uh, God, oh, he, can, he can repair relationships, reconcile relationships, restore of relationships. We just wanted to challenge you today to have a look in love.